Hey guys, Hermit Grab here, and today we're gonna have 5 minutes of random Pokemon facts. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's begin. Extreme Speed is a move in Pokemon that is usually reserved for the fastest in all of Pokemon, but the slowest Pokemon to learn Extreme Speed is Dratini. Dratini has a speed stat of 50. Just 50. However, it can learn Extreme Speed by breeding with a Dragonite who can learn Extreme Speed due to the Move Tutor, but only in Generation 8. The slowest Pokemon that can learn Extreme Speed naturally is a tie between Dragonite and Togekiss, both of which share a speed stat of 80. Rookie D's Pokedex category is Tiny Bird Pokemon, which is similar to Pidgey and Spearow. Despite this, Rookie D is actually smaller than the two other tiny birds, with a height of 8 inches. Pidgey and Spearow are tied with the tallest tiny bird Pokemon with one foot. Pokemon Snap was released on the Nintendo 64 from 1999 to 2000 depending on your location. The newest Pokemon Snap was released on 2021, resulting in a 21 to 22 year drought for the Pokemon Snap community. But there could be hope for Hey You Pikachu fans, right? I don't think so. Speaking of Pokemon spin-offs, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series has also gained a cult following. Even the music you hear in the background is from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The latest original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon for the 3DS, which was released from 2015 to 2016. Mystery Dungeon GX, the most recent Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, is actually a remake of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue Rescue Team, which are games that you can play on emulators for free. Other than the remakes, there have been no new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games for the Nintendo Switch. At least, for now. Unown has only one move in its moveset with hidden power. If you brought Unown into the modern Pokemon games, it will be even more worthless than it already was. Hidden Power, Unown's only move, cannot be used in modern Pokemon games anymore, specifically Sword and Shield, due to the fact that Game Freak removed the attack from the game, which means that Unown is a Pokemon with no usable moves in Sword and Shield. That's... that's just sad, man. The Blue Eyes White Dragon arguably is the most iconic card in Yu-Gi-Oh! but the closest Pokemon to being a Blue Eyes White Dragon is Reshiram. It is white, has blue eyes, and is a Dragon type. But not only that, it also uses Blue Flare, a blue beam attack that comes out of its mouth similar to Blue Eyes' Burst Stream of Destruction. It can also fuse with other dragons similar to the Blue Eyes White Dragon. If you search up Pokemon types in Google, there is a chance for you to get some odd results. Sometimes it's a Salamence, and in my case, I got an Onix. Yup, Onix is an Onix type Pokemon. The Poke in Pokemon doesn't just mean pocket. Poke also means to slice or cut into pieces in Hawaii. It is also a native dish in Hawaii served with diced raw fish either as an appetizer or as a main course. It also has varying adaptations with yellowfin tuna or shellfish. Hii Poke is a type of Poke that serves octopus, but in places where the Hawaiian language isn't spoken, it uses its Japanese name, Taco Poke, in those areas. Speaking of food, Pokemon Sword and Shield introduced us to the cooking minigame and the curry decks. But there is one particular kind of curry that caught my attention. This curry with a Kingler's body cooked on it. The text appears to be Kingler Whole Seafood Curry. It isn't shown in Bulbapedia's list, nor is it shown in the worldwide versions of the game. So I'm assuming that this is only available in the Japanese versions of Sword and Shield. But the most disturbing thing isn't the curry itself. It's the fact that your Krabbies or Kinglers can eat this curry, which is kind of messed up for a Pokemon game. We have weird Pokedex entries, the anime showing Pokemon as food, and the manga has zombie Pokemon. But now, we have official in-game Pokemon cannibalism. And finally, this is a perfect form of Metagross. This is real.
And with that, that is 5 minutes of random Pokemon facts. I am experimenting with these types of videos and I am open to constructive criticism. With that, share your thoughts in the comment section below and be sure to like and subscribe with post notifications on and I'll see you soon.